and shiny die. When the balloons dropped this week, celebrating the end of a legislative session, one group was cheering particularly loud for those who don't have a voice, animals. We were thrilled because last year no animal bills passed. And so this session, we were thrilled to see so many of, of the animal bills that were introduced actually did pass. In all, seven bills related to animal welfare are headed to the governor's desk. Lisa Radoff is with Maryland Votes for Animals. She says they had so much success this year compared to the past because they took time to educate new lawmakers. Well, it took a while for everyone to get familiar with each other and learn about the issues. Like puppy mills. The bill that just passed puts restrictions on pet stores selling puppies and enforces standards for how animals are sold. She says that bill and another that makes it a crime to possess equipment used in dog fighting are probably the biggest victories. And we're talking about electric shock cables for dogs that don't perform well in fights, um, weighted treadmills, um, and the kind of equipment um, stands for breeding dogs. House Bill 46 also passed, and advocates say that was a big one. That basically requires animal control facilities to scan strays for a microchip. If the animal has one, they have to make an effort to find the owner. While they're pleased with what they've accomplished, Lisa Radoff says they're not finished. We have a lot of really wonderful advocates and legislators who are committed, and we're going to be spending the off session getting ready for 2017. Megan Pringle, WBAL TV 11 News. And for looking